Hello, I'm going to be demonstrating SDI's diagnostic, SDI Diagnostics' newest spirometer, the AstroTouch. It is a digital turbine um, in, in this handheld device right here, leading to this uh, touchscreen spirometer. So here it starts off with this screen, as I'm going to bring it up closer so you can see. You're going to have a um, variety of options here, but I'm going to demo the FVC option. It's going to come up with a list of questions uh, that you need to fill out for it to uh, for it to fill out its predicted sets. Uh, the patient ID, first name, last name is just for your records only, but it needs the uh, patient's age, height and inches, weight and pounds, uh, ethnicity factor, and the gender, and also factors in uh, smoking, how many years you've been smoking and cigarettes a day, and then the name of the technician. So uh, the way you enter the information in is by touching the screen. So I'm going to touch the first box, I'm going to put in uh, for the patient ID just a, a sample number. Go next, and then the patient's first name. I'm going to put in a random name for the first name and then the last name. I'm going to put test. See how easy that is? The patient's age is 29. Height and inches is 74 inches. Oh. And then pounds is 215. Okay, ethnicity factors uh, Caucasian, male, smoking years, zero. Oh. Smoking cigarettes a day, zero. And then the technician, I want to put uh, Jane. And hit enter to finish it all up. It fills it all in. And now we can proceed by uh, touching this button over here uh, to start the spirometry test. Now you're going to come to this next screen. It's ready to start the maneuver. You can see there's a little box here and there. That's where it expects uh, me to perform based off the information I gave it. Here is going to be the amount of uh, pressure you blow into the device as a incentive for adults. Uh, it, this does turn into a, uh, a rocket ship or another uh, incentive for pediatrics. Then over here it will start listing down the maneuvers which you can uh, bring up by touching the, uh, each maneuver separately on this end. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, by, uh, by go, ahead and, uh, go, go ahead and start by blowing in the device. So we take this uh, part right here and uh, the mouthpiece. On, uh, on this right here, you can't put it in the wrong way. There is a uh, little nipple right here that doesn't allow you to put the device in on this side. So it only goes in this one way, so it's foolproof. This machine does allow you to do tidal breathing, so a patient can put their mouth onto this mouthpiece, relax, breathe the, uh, the air out of the rest of the air out of their lungs, and then sharply increase uh, their, their lungs and then decrease all the way out till, they're, till it's empty and at the six second mark it will finish. So it will trigger itself when you sharply increase your breath uh, so that, that way you don't have to have the anxiety of preparing beforehand and placing your mouth on the device and blowing out. It's very easy for the patient. So it's still waiting for me to get started so here I go. Okay, now it's done. So it showed you the test there. Okay, um, over on the right, you're going to see uh, maneuver one. It's ready. It, you can keep going with more maneuvers if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, and just do one. And it shows over here on this side. You can see maneuver one. This is the uh, uh, FVC and the FEV one, and above it's predicted. So I'm slightly under on both of those, but not by a lot. So I'm going to touch that maneuver to pull up the screen. So you can see here, uh, it does give percentages on the right in, uh, in the actual predicted set, so you can compare the two. Uh, then you can uh, scroll down to see the rest of the report. You can modify uh, on the uh, software what comes up on this report and what not. And then at the bottom here, you can uh, touch the interpretation to see um, the ATS interpretation or these various other uh, interpretations for the uh, spirometer test. Also, what you can do is save it to the database by pushing this button, 
Uh, it's going to save maneuver one. Accept. Uh, the three tests not performed, are you sure? Yes. Uh, it's not required that you have to do three tests for this machine unless you do an occupational health screening. So it saved it to the database the, uh, on board. Now I'm going to go ahead and print it out by touching this button here. So you can see it's uh, starting to print out the, the test results. Now what you can do with this is um, you can scan this into your EMR system like you like most EMRs um, allow or what you can do is uh, connect the spirometer to your computer and the software that it comes with and it will convert it to a PDF document which you can scan and import into your uh, into your EMR so it will interface with every EMR out there by the basis of uh, of the PDF file. So that's it. Um, then you just, when you're done, you just go back to the screen, you see the result again, go back to the home menu. Now if you want to do a pre and post bronchodilator challenge, then at, after you've done the first FEV screen, you can go ahead and push the uh, post button right here to move on to that. Well, I hope that answers all your questions. That's it for my demonstration. Please feel free to contact SDI if you have any more questions.